pet travel scams are steadily increasing, and as a pet shipping company, we hear about them daily. As a potential adopter, it is essential that you do the proper research to verify the company you will be working with. How do pet scams work? The scammer will advertise a false animal for sale, meaning they really do not have the animal in their possession to sell. The most common ploy is to offer a popular breed, usually a cute puppy, for a very low price. Another ploy is that they will say these animals have come from puppy mills or abusive families and need to be rescued immediately to avoid being put down. Many scammers use social media sites to advertise. In addition, they will have an email address from a free server. You will begin contact with the scammer to learn more about the animal and to arrange a visit. This contact usually is in the form of email or messenger chat. Rarely are you able to speak to someone over the phone. The scammer will then come up with an excuse saying that you cannot meet the animal in person. The scammers will say that they are working with a pet shipping company. Scammers will typically use partial names or logos of legitimate pet shipping companies to make themselves seem more authentic. If you look closely, communication often has poor spelling and grammar. Greater warning signs of a possible scam come from how they ask to be paid. Most common is for them to ask for money to be wired. This method of payment is a red flag because the money will immediately transfer to them and there is no way to track it or get it back. Other common requests for payment are gift cards or money orders, as these also cannot be tracked. The scammer might stay in contact for some time as they work out the logistics of the pet's travel. Often, they will come to you for additional last-minute expenses such as vaccinations, insurance, or travel crates. Another red flag is that they will make threats if you don't pay. If you see any red flags or are suspicious of who you're talking with, immediately stop correspondence. You will never receive the animal you were hoping for, as it never existed. How to avoid being scammed? Use the official web, Facebook pages of your local humane society, rescue organizations, or petfinder.com when looking for a new furry family member. If you do engage with anyone selling a pet on a communal site, be wary. Any deal that seems too good to be true probably is. Inquire about any companies these people you are corresponding with state they will be using. Ensure these other companies are reputable and reach out to them directly to see if they're familiar with the seller and your case. Never give these people money until you have met the pet or know 100% that you are working with a legitimate organization. And even then, pay via a traceable source so that you can monitor your money and know exactly who is receiving it. Conclusion while there are many animals that need to be rescued and need new homes, please be cautious if you're looking for one via the internet. It is very easy for scammers to get details about a legitimate organization and make themselves look like one, or that they are working in tandem with one. Be smart, do your research, and you should have no problem finding and receiving the new furry family member you desire. To learn more about pet scams or how to report an incident, please visit the International Pet and Animal Transportation Association's page for links on how to report scammers. If you do find a legitimate pet that you would like to adopt, Happy Tails Travel can help with all arrangements from start to finish by air with care or by ground safe and sound. Contact us today! Start by filling out our pet travel form on our website or by calling us at 1-800-323-1718 to see how Happy Tales Travel can help you and your new furry family member.